what the rock is cooking. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a new belt day, so I finally got a new belt. It is a Figures Inc. Big Logo version 2. So I'm very excited and that means it is a new review day. So I'm very excited to review this. Um, it is a stock Figures Inc. Big Logo version 2. So stock stones, stock strap. I do plan on getting it uh, upgraded in the future, but we'll talk about that later. Until then, let's get straight into the review. So let's start on the plates. Um, we'll start actually on the side plates. These are the main difference um, between the V2 and the V3. So as you can see, the dome, it is the, the globe is like domed, um, which is very cool. And the crown itself, I'm trying to show it, is stacked. I'm trying to get a proper angle, you can see, there you go. The actual crown is stacked and the dome, and the globe is domed, which is really nice. Um, really nice detail to that makes the side plates pop and i really do love it on the v2 you can see the stones there they are stock stones this is in pretty good condition i got it for a pretty good deal so there are a few stones missing so yeah you can see there's stone missing there um but yeah not too many stones mainly on the main plate but it's not a huge issue another great upgrade with the v2 that they had is the thicker sidebars this is the only version of the big logo network logo universal anything this design uh, yeah, nxc uk any any title that has this design that has the sidebars this is the only replica with the thick sidebars the v1 had this paper thin sidebars and the v3 the current shop one also has the thin sidebars we'll talk about uh the difference between v1 2 and 3 later on though now let's get to the main plate this thing is a beauty um, you can see, yeah, there's a few stones missing. Uh, one there, a few of the small ones here and there, but it is not a huge issue to me. I do plan on getting it re eventually, so not a huge issue to be honest. Yeah, a few small stones here and there, but for the age, this is 2013 belt, so it's pretty, almost 10 years now. Yeah, nine year old belt, so for nine years, condition's pretty good. You can see the stones there, three rubies, or so simulated, and the small stones. And I never realized how, how like difficult this would be to restone until I saw it in person. There are so many different sized stones, and they're so tiny. I'm pretty sure you have to drill into it to restone it. So having to drill into that teeny tiny hole is probably such a hassle. That's probably the reason why this is one of the more expensive belts to get restoned. Um, but yeah, you can see there, champion, pretty nice. So that's the main plate. Move on to the other side, sidebar, same thing, thicker sidebar, which is really nice. And of course that domed globe, side plate, and the crown, very nice. Um, gold tip. So yeah, I'll show you guys this side plate. When you take it out, it's actually like a back plate, which is like the real belt. Um, this is the only replica that has that. Like I said, the network logo, the version one and three, the universal, none of them are like that. I'll show you on my universal comparing to show you what's the difference. But yeah, before we get to that, let's talk about the strap. So moving on to the strap. This is a standard figs ink strap, so it is pretty stiff. Um, it's not super floppy. The tooling's the, well, the imitated tooling. It is nice. Um, it does look pretty nice. You can see there. This version has a accurate tooling compared to the V1, um, especially here. You can see where it all overlaps. It just looks perfect there. So for display though, this looks really nice. It is a stitched on uh, snap box, but it's not incredibly noticeable. If you know what I'm, I, I don't know how to explain it, but some of them look really bad. Some of the stitched on. Uh, snap boxes and i'll actually bring down my standard wayne deegan i'll show you how bad some of them actually look this one though it doesn't look too bad from a distance you can't really tell um except of course the stitching but yeah i don't mind this wwe tooling there looks really nice and of course that geometric pattern going all the way around and not overlapping perfectly fitting in that box 
clamshell tooling going all the way around. Of course, that WW logo with a wider square box. Looks really nice. And the MSA tooling, a bit shallow, but it's not that bad. Um, let's move on to the back. Standard black backing, some snaps there. Screws exposed. One thing I do love about this belt, and it has that post, that screw in the middle, which holds it better to the strap. Huge difference between the V2 and the V1. Uh, That's the huge difference. You can see that figure's ink strap, 2013, and the sticker. I know Rob and Casey love that. Now let me bring out my other belts to compare it. All right, so here is the difference between the snap boxes that I was talking about. This looks like complete dog shit, to be honest. Uh, the only reason, to be honest, that I have this belt in my collection is the standard, all gold. I went in a raffle and it's signed by Bret Hart. If it weren't for the signatures, this would be long, long gone. But yeah, you can see the snap box here. It looks like shit. Like you can see the fucking, uh, it just looks bad. It looks like they got like a, it looks like the backing which doesn't look that great. They just got a piece of backing, cut it up. It looks rough. It doesn't like go into the strap properly. It's a, it's still exposed, you can see it. It just doesn't look good. This one though, not as bad. It's not as exposed edges. It's kind of smooth in. It doesn't look that bad. Um, for a stitch on snap boxes, it's pretty good. All right, let's talk about the difference between the side plates. So this is the current shop. Um, every other design has been like this for the net, like this, like, you know, you know this design. As all, they've all been like this with the disc side plates. Well, they don't come with the wheel weights, but um, just screw into the, the plates here. Two screws in the back and take them out. And it has these little, like, not posts, but these little pieces of metal that hold it in place. So when you put it in, it doesn't wobble. The V1, this V1, did not have those posts. Um, so it just screws straight into the strap. So it sunk, sunk straight through the plate and it looked like shit. That's a big difference. This one, though, has that plate on the back, which is really cool. Um, you can see the dome there has some, like, paint or whatever. But yeah, another difference is this screws from the top and bottom, which unfortunately means you can't get replacement side plates for this version, which honestly would be an issue, in my opinion, if the side plate wasn't domed. I'm going to keep this, obviously, stock because of the beautiful domed and the crown. If this was standard, like the flat, the ones you get like this, I would definitely replace it. Now, another difference with this uh, version is you can't screw it from the back. So to take out this, you take out this whole plate and then unscrew it from these little screws here, which were held by these little gold screws, or silver, sorry. So as you see the back here, sorry, there we go. There's only four holes. So you have to take out the whole side plate and then unscrew this. Um, I mean, it is kind of a hassle, but it wasn't really meant to be taken out, considering you can't really get this replacement side plate, which I think is a bigger reason why they moved on to the V3 of the shop, the current version, which has this design you can take them out. It is a shame though, that we don't get this nice little proper accurate back plate to it. Bit of a shame, but I like it. All right, let's get into the main differences between, between the V1, V2, and V3. So let's start off with the V1. The V1 was the original replica released by Figures Inc. It was complete dog shit, to be honest. The side plates, not domed. Flat, flat. Also, they had the old type of uh, side plate design, so they didn't even have the post that I showed on my Universal. They just went straight, into, they screwed straight into the strap, which meant they sunk straight into the like plate. So it wasn't flush with the side plate, it just sunk right in. If you want to see a detailed video of where you can actually see that, check out Paul Martin's video, he does a really good comparison. Um, but yeah, that's the difference on the side plate. Sidebars were super flat, they were super thin, they didn't look nice, these are nice thick sidebars. Main plate, this outline, which is supposed to be cut out and go into the strap, was just black, painted black in. It wasn't actually cut out, it was just painted black, which, which was to imitate the cut out look, which looked bad. Um, yeah, those are, oh, another difference was on the back here, well, this is, it was a sticker, but, um, this screw was missing, which meant that this part would sink in, um, so this gives it more structure, um, and as opposed to the one that sunk in, 
And yeah, there was a few differences with the stone sizes and the placement, but other than that, those are the main differences between the V1 and the V2. Now let's talk about the V3. The V3 is the current one that's on WWE Shop. If you go on Shop right now and look at the big logo, you're not getting this. You're getting the V3, which is still a pretty decent replica. I mean, the main plate, same, basically the same thing. It's cut out, so it looks, it's it's accurate. Sidebars are thin though, which is kind of a shame. I wish they kept this for longer, but um, the side plate design is the same as the current Universal that I showed. So it's not domed. It doesn't have the back plate, but it does like sit in flush, and it doesn't like fall and you know fall into the strap and sink in so it is a proper design but it's not domed and it doesn't have the stack crown which is a bit of a shame so those are the main differences i believe the strap on the v3 is slightly better um which i really don't really care about i am getting it re-leathered soon so i i don't care about stock straps stock stones though um i will get them re eventually just the price on these are very expensive which i now understand why there's so many tiny stones drilling that must be a pain in the ass so many different size stones i don't have the patience to restone this you can see even this line small to big to small to big. it's just i think it would be such a pain to restone this so the price is justified but um yeah that's the difference between the v1 2 and 3 Overall, I'm really glad I got this replica. It is my first Figures Inc. belt, and I've wanted a Figures Inc. belt for a long time to join the club. Of course, Rob and Casey have been pressuring me, peer pressuring me to get a Figures Inc. Thankfully, it's not the light heavyweight. Um, but yeah, I wanted to wait for the proper replica, and this is exactly the replica I wanted. Um, and I got, I got it for a steal, so I'm very happy for that. Um, it is a really nice replica. Even stock is nice. I do want to get real other dough, so it'll be really nice. And then eventually resell, which will make it perfect um so i'm very excited to do that but if you guys are looking for really nice the best version of the replica of the big logo this is definitely the one just make sure to look on facebook try and get a nice deal on it make sure it's in good condition if it's missing stones it's not a huge issue you can also, also always replace them with other plastic stones if you don't want to get it restoned um just make sure there's no real scratches on the plates that's all that really matters at least to me if you want to keep the stock strap go ahead I mean, I'm probably going to be selling this strap because when I get it re-leathered and it's in really good condition. So if you guys want, if you guys care about sock straps like Rob or Casey or Jamie, hit me up. I'm probably going to be selling this strap sometime soon in the next month or so. So, um, yeah, once I get it re-leathered, I'll sell this strap and it's in really nice condition. So let me know um, if you guys want that. I'll give you guys a really good deal because I, I don't care about the strap, to be honest. It has the original patch and sticker too, so which is really nice. So, yeah, overall, really nice replica. And I'm glad I finally got a phasing belt. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.